When an electric charge is moving in a magnetic field, there's a force called the Lorentz force which acts on it. Its magnitude is QVB, where Q is the amount of the charge, V is its speed, and B is the magnetic field. Here's a magnet with the North Pole and the South Pole. The B field points in this direction from left to right. Inside the magnet I have this wire, and the wire is connected to this oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is going to trace for us a quantity that's proportional to the force in the vertical axis versus time on the horizontal axis. You see it sweeping right now. Now the direction of this force is going to be in the direction of Q times V times B. Actually it's in the direction of a right hand rule. And this right hand rule is used by taking your right hand and slapping in the direction from QV. So if I take this wire and lift it upward, the direction will be this way. I slap in the direction from QV in the direction of B. So if I do that, it's sort of like this. And that means that the force will be away from the camera. That means that I should get a pulse coming into the negative terminal of the oscilloscope, the black wire. And that means I should get a negative pulse. Let's see if that's the case. I got my negative pulse. And if I go in the other direction, I should get a positive pulse. Negative, positive. Now, also note that if I do this slower, V will be sm smaller, and therefore I'll get a smaller force. I still get positive and negative pulses, but they're much smaller than they were before. It's interesting to note that the area under each of those pulses is pretty much the same regardless of the speed at which I pull the wire through the magnetic field. This is called motional EMF.